Good morning once again to everyone. Uh, in fact, it's a pleasure to be here because uh, the way that the biddings have happened, such kind of forums always give us various inputs, which in the vicinities of our respective rooms or uh, conference rooms where we do decide and calculate the kind of tariffs that are supposed to be looked at and uh, bid probably are much different uh, from the perspectives that we have in that room and plus when we go out and listen to these things out here in such places. So uh, just to bring out uh, and maybe summarize those kind of different uh, directions which probably are looked at and then thought and uh, assimilated together to bring out such kind of perspectives and then maybe they are uh, irrational bids, maybe they are forward looking, maybe they are punts maybe they are uh, like uh, more relying on the technologies which probably some of us have access to some of us don't have access to but uh, overall i think uh, the uh, summation of all these things is today uh, and we speak in different languages but then we all come together uh, when we reach a point of inflection saying that you know probably what i thought was wrong somebody else maybe you know, he thought something differently or maybe he is wrong and probably what I thought is right and we don't know what will come out and all these different question marks are coming uh, and raising a lot of question marks on what the direction will be in the future and plus all these ambiguities about, you know, we listen to GSTs, the government also playing its own part, either spoil sport or, you know, in its own way trying to incentivize or disincentivize, so many things coming in together. Uh, looking and coming together to talk about the developer's perspective on uh, uh, the technologies as well as on the solar part as how it will come out. Probably I'll try and summarize these in 5S kind of uh, concept. And these 5S is uh, probably a simplistic way to bring about how things are phasing and uh, uh, coming in together. So the 5S that I have thought about is that, I don't know, um, we are talking about the developers perspective bringing in uh, trying to have the tug of war between as a bids churn out uh, so the first s that is questioned by you know us and uh, on the other side the government as well as the institutions as well as the customers is how safe are we in stretching our boundaries to the place that we are going to in terms of uh, did some, you know, we heard about people saying that about five years ago, seven years ago, we were building Taj Mahals. Now, are we today uh, saying that Taj Mahals were necessary and today whatever we are doing is not necessary? So are we on that breach? Are we on that wall where we are compromising safety and that's why we are on this part? Not saying that it was Taj or not Taj, but are we breaching those safe limits or the safety norms somewhere compromising on those thin lines? Second S that we, I'm, I'm trying to bring these five S perspectives just to think and say uh, the questions that are again, you know, talked about in those uh, little forums. Are we properly looking at the value to serve and the quality to serve? That means in terms of service, we heard, uh, you know, that perspective also being called on. Uh, the escalations that are thought of, the services that are desired to be offered for such plants so that they maintain they are maintained in that long uh, service uh, periods that they are desired to deliver. Another is that comes in in terms of sustenance. And that sustenance is not only in terms of the plant being robust enough to survive that 25 years of lifetime, but sustenance also from a developer's perspective that is it going to be sustained enough or is it going to drive uh, the monies back to you? and be able to sustain not only you in the short term, but if it is required to be flipped over, if it is required to be uh, given to uh, the investors, etc. Is it sustenance, uh, is sustenance driven and uh, impregnated into it that it is able to have that kind of 25 year time period? Uh, the fourth S that I thought is uh, very pertinent and I'm trying to bring these points in a very short perspective rather than elaborating in the uh, benefit of you know giving time to uh, so many other things that are also stretched in is uh, is the uh, structure around what we are bidding around is it simple enough simple in the sense that a developer today 
has to probably have a battery of lawyers or a battery of consultants because there are so many states that are involved there are so many laws that are involved there are so many uh, interactions that are required to come to finally understand and have different perspectives on whether this law will be applicable whether this particular attitude this particular uh, direction will be applicable to what we are trying to do so it's not simple enough it's very very complicated and when we want to go to those 30 gigawatt 50 gigawatt 100 gigawatt kind of thing the more simpler these norms are uh, in terms of interacting the central state the DERCs, the CERCs, the DISCOMs, distribution companies etc only then this perspective and this large scale tug of war can be a winner for everyone there uh, maybe the final S that uh, we were thinking of is uh, is it secure enough from a developer's perspective uh, we bid, we come out with a certain uh, kind of a winning formula, we think we have won, but how secure is it? Is it secure enough in terms of, is it watertight enough in terms of a contract? There are challenges that, and we've heard of those challenges in the past that, you know, for example, a state a PPA is signed and then after some years people wake up, no, that was, uh, you know, probably too high a PPA that we had signed. Uh, are you ready to renegotiate? So are we secure enough uh, in terms of uh, not only water tightness with respect to a developer but also with respect to the end customer also. We are again trying to link this to kind of uh, change in laws that may emanate now with the GSTs coming in. So how secure we are, how, uh, uh, how confident we are that whatever we are putting in as a money is really going to be secure from a fund perspective or an investor perspective. So uh, there shouldn't be any ambiguities in the long term, only then these kind of things may, may then uh, I think sequel uh, with the next bid coming in with not I would say sensible or non-sensible or you know in that sense rational or uh, not rational but I think a lot of mind will need to go into all such things coming in together. So with that I'll just leave uh, these thoughts with all of you and thank you all for uh, being so patient and uh, encouraging enough and to bring in so many perspectives together. This is always helpful to share such thoughts together. Thank you so much.